Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon, Sky Hill, episode lucky number seven, and hopefully with lucky number seven comes also a win. That'd be really great. Right now we're kind of really close to the very end. Uh, I was going to say to the edge and I'm about to break and go into my whole Lincoln Park spiel, but I will spare you that for now. We're up to 31 hunger, 44 HP. We need to heal up a little bit, so we will take ourselves a little bit of a nap unless, wait one second here, can I make another VIP room of some kind? Out of curiosity. We have the brick now available for this, but we need wires and nails, and we also need a... Well, you know what? We actually need a wire to fix the next elevator down below. Unfortunately, we have no more scrap metal, so we can't make that happen. That's unfortunate, so we'd have to use up some hunger points to try to fix that elevator down below, more than likely. But for now, what I think we do is um, just try to get some rest here, and we want to go up to, wow, 11. I guess we have no choice. Two hours of sleep it is. Nothing bad happened, thankfully. My dream last night was so vivid. It was before the disaster. I was sitting in the park. People were laughing and relaxing. The sun shined brightly. A girl, familiar yet somehow not, took me by the hand and walked with me. We were together a long time, a glowing light surrounding us getting brighter and brighter until it enveloped us in an impenetrable cocoon of comfort and happiness. I woke up more rested than I felt in a long time. Oh, nice! We got a little bit of uh, extra HP healed with that one, right? Because I think we we're like looking at 72, so we got up to 89.5, which is actually pretty good. All right, so we are almost at full health, and number two, we're at 11 hunger. That's what worries me the most. Now I'm hanging on to this egg because if we get some water, we could obviously make a boiled egg. And I'm also holding on to the alcohol because I could make the painkillers now, but if we could also find some food, we could mix that up as well. And more importantly, um. In order to make the painkillers, I need to mix the antibiotics in this one. I'm running into a bunch of poison enemies, so we might need to hold on to those antibiotics to mix with the mutant blood to make the antidote. But we'll see. We'll see what comes first. Uh, right now, we just jump back down. And we have to go all the way to 18. We'll have to walk down. This is over here locked, as we already found out, right? Yeah. So we're about to start bleeding pretty soon because we have no way of... Uh Restoring our hunger right now. Well, actually, we can, but I'm trying to save it if I can here. So we come out of 15 and we hope that we get a piece of scrap metal so we could fix this over here. Fingers crossed and everything, but okay, we get another blank key card. We'll come over here. I guess at this point, though, we actually. Come on, come on, come on. Now get everything be empty there. At this point, I don't think we actually try to risk this. I think we have to just continue going downwards and hope we find some scrap metal. Wowee! I haven't seen you guys in a while, and I'm actually quite happy to see you here because um, you are less um, dangerous than everything else we've dealt with so far. Um, we could get a one-hit kill over here. Let's try it out. Yes! Alrighty! No damage for us. We got some mutant blood and another brick. Alrighty. And again, we can't take this elevator until we fix this one over here, unfortunately. Empty room. That is uh, unfortunate to see at this point in the game. Okay, I'll see you later. Not dealing with you right now. 13. Man, you know what? I think at this point we basically just go down... <laughs> I'm gonna probably have to. I was gonna say, at this point we just basically rush to room or floor number one, and the game's really giving me no option, because number one, we have to fix the elevator. Number two, we keep running... Alrighty. This is um, concerning a lot, because we have to now fight this thing for a fact, and because we can't proceed without it. And more importantly, well actually, if I fix the elevator, I could possibly skip it, assuming there's a working elevator in 11 and 10. Alright, let's give this a little bit of a try. Oh, God almighty. 17.22? Look at how much HP he has! Are you kidding me right now? No, you're out of your goddamn mind. Seven, and we're talking about the max damage as well. Like, if I'm really lucky and I get, like, you know, the max damage, 17. Now, let's do a little bit of, um, mathemat mathematation over here, as I like to call it. It's obviously mathematics, but I'm being facetious about it here. Uh, 17.22. So, you know, even if we were going to round up to 20, we're looking at, what, 6 hits? At 20. I'm talking, like, critical hits nonstop. So, if you add just 17.22 and even less, Jesus, you're looking at, what, like, 10 to 15 hits? No. Okay. So we have made our decision. Well, I mean, that's... This guy made our decision for us. We have to come up here now. And we're going to have to risk this um, fixing potential here. Because we have to skip that monster. We can't find him. He's going to kill me. Um, we have to come over here. And we're going to go ahead and obviously... Have no choice but to have this egg now. Well, 
I guess we'll hold off a little bit here, but we're gonna probably have to have it. So let's try to fix this. Luckily it worked, we lost the rag. I'm quite fine with that. Alrighty, so now what we do is, how much experience do we have as well? I'm curious here. Uh, we're still quite far from level nine. So we skip that room that he's at, which is... Oh, come on. There's no jump below 12? There's no jump below 12. Well, uh, I think it's safe to say we have uh, come to an end here. I think it's quite safe to say that. Alrighty. Here is how we play this out. We have no choice but to use up everything that we have to try to max ourselves out. So we'll craft this on the fly. Because we have no choice, we will take it now. I almost feel like taking this egg and going back up to sleep a little bit, but at the same time it's going to just reduce me by the time I'm back down. But it might be an alternative as well. I guess we probably take it. So I'll come back for you pretty soon. Now, what I'm hoping for is the possibility... Do we just fight the nurses and hope for an item over here, or do we just fight Big Dude? I'm not sure which is the worst at this point. Uh, we're going to come back over here. And obviously, we're gonna just have this egg now. And that's all we really can do, right? Yeah. No weapons are gonna save me now at this point either. So, now we just sleep. And even though we're gonna bleed... Oh, we can. We can sleep beyond that because of the hunger meter. So, all we really can afford is only one sleep. That's unfortunate. So, we'll take an hour of sleep. Nothing happened. Alrighty. That's it. That's all we have room for. Jesus, I can't believe there's no jump below 12. That's so unfortunate. Alrighty, do we fight Nurse or do we fight Big Dude? I guess we just go for the Big Dude. We might as well go down swinging, right? So here it is. Uh, man, we survived in a while, but this is horseshit. Yep. I mean, look at the amount of damage he does. It's just ridiculous critical hit. He's not even slow. Like, if I could actually... Like, if he skips a few turns, that'd be great. But you're not going to skip turns on him. Now he's ducking for some reason. I'm not even sure what that means. And one more hit and I'm dead. There you go. I obviously probably unlocked every single perk because of how amazing we did with this run. So I would not be surprised if every perk is unlocked now. Basically, you unlock perks the further you get. That seems to be the quota for it. And since we got up to room or floor 12, I think we unlocked a bunch of stuff here. A backpack. That sounds really useful. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the main menu. Alright, so let's check out what we unlocked here out of curiosity's sake. Uh, let's go, yeah, sure, normal again. Yep, I unlocked everything in one run. That's amazing at the very least. So now we have Rampage, we have Bulimia, Thymocophobia, Silver Spoon, Addict, Total Mess, Extremist. These are your passive and these are your actives over here. Hmm, a locked one. That seems pretty interesting. Oh, oh no, these the last two are locked. I would not be surprised if these unlock after you get to um, Beyond... Floor 10, or maybe even after you beat the game once you get these, maybe? Probably. New life. Every... Even in this ruined world, there's always a chance to start over. You can respend all your skill points. Ah. Interesting. Lucky bastard. Amnesia. Alrighty. Well. First aid. Interesting. Alrighty, guys. So we're gonna wrap it up here. If you guys would like to see me do another run, let me know in the comments, as I mentioned last episode, and we will go beyond that point. Um, but for now, we will probably wrap it up here, at least until I get your feedback on it. We gave it a good run. We get up to floor 12, which is actually pretty amazing, with, especially with the fact that we went in with no passive abilities or any active perks. We basically went vanilla on normal, all the way to uh, floor 12, which is, you know, pretty amazing, I would say. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.